Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about the Lush Gorilla perfume called The Bug. And let me show you what that looks like here. So this is The Bug perfume, The Bug Gorilla perfume. And this is a perfume that was in the Lush Gorilla perfume 2 group of perfumes. And this one uh, has always interested me more so than the other Gorilla Perfume in the uh, Gorilla Perfume 2 range. Um, I guess because of the the label kind of drew me in and just the name of it and the description. And so I went ahead and kind of after smelling it in the shop a uh, long time ago when it was there very briefly, I really was intrigued. It was uh, it was really different, but yet I kind of wanted to smell it again and kind of wished it would come back. So when I when I saw that Lush was discontinuing their Gorilla Perfume Two uh, group, I just decided to go ahead and dive in and buy a bottle of the Bug before it went away. So. They have different sizes, and I got this one because I love that long neck bottle look. And uh, the bug, the fragrance of it is so different. It's when you first smell it, it's almost sort of disturbing. <laughs> it, it's it reminds me of Discord, you know, when when you first smell it. Um, it's a little bit sweet just enough sweet to hold your attention. When you first smell it, you kind of almost are taken aback and you take it away from your nose, but then you you smell this note underneath it. It's it's almost a yummy sweet floral and it just makes you want to smell it again. It's like um you know, it it has let me tell you what it has in it. It's got sandalwood and labdomum resinoid, which kind of reminds me like of a, you know, kind of an incense resiny quality, like frankincense maybe. And then it's got galbanum, elemi, and black pepper. So it's like an incensey, slightly floral, spicy kind of a fragrance. Um, it's it's very pungent at first. But again, that lingering note, that af you know, bass note or whatever it is, just kind of keeps you sniffing it. <laughs> um, it takes a little while to kind of appreciate it. And once you put it on your skin and it starts to dry down, it, it becomes a softer, more appealing kind of a smell. Um, you know, it's, it's warm, it's sweet. But yet you've got that really sharp, bracing note in the background. Um, but it does mellow out after you wear it. And you just kind of smell a lovely, sweet fragrance mixed with sandalwood. Um, it's slightly floral. But yet it's not a girly scent at all. Um, initially, when you smell it, it almost smells like a men's scent. But as it dries down, you've got that tonka bean in it, which is sort of like vanilla vanilla-like to me. Um, Lush made a limited edition ballistic, bath ballistic. This was about maybe two years ago, I guess. And it was just Lush uh, International, which is in the UK. And it was in the Bug fragrance, and it was a giant sort of, it looked like a water splat, like a, a drop of water that has splashed. And uh, I have a video here on YouTube that uh, shows what the the uh, the bug splat ballistic looks like in the tub. It's just really outstanding. I really enjoyed that ballistic, and um, I I only bought two, so I I really wish that they'd make that ballistic again because, like I say, it's the same scent, and so you can layer the scent, take a bath in the ballistic, and and then put some of the uh, perfume afterwards. So anyway, a little bit of trivia there. So okay, uh, that's about it, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.